A beam with a uniformly distributed load are usually easy to analyze. But what if we have a trapezoidal load? Well, that's what we're gonna go over today. Oh yeah, everybody now. Before we start solving the problem, make sure that you guys download this cheat sheet that my team and I just created. It is 30 pages long and it covers the most important equations and concepts that you should know for the FE exam. So make sure that you guys go over these equations and concepts before you take your FE. In this problem, we are giving this beam and we want to find the reaction at B. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this shape and break it into two shapes. So we're going to have a triangle and then the rectangle. The next thing we're going to do is find the force of the triangle and then find the force of the rectangle so that way we can set up our moment equation. Now we already covered the concepts of the trapezoidal load in this video so if you guys haven't watched that yet go ahead and check it out and then go ahead and attempt this problem so give it a try and then we'll solve it together in a little bit. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna do is find the force of the triangle, which is just going to be the area of the triangle, which is one half times B times H. Now, B is just going to be the span of the beam, which is 10 feet. And then for the height, this is where we gotta be careful. Cause here we are giving this whole height is 50, right? But we just want this distance here. So let me just draw it so you guys can see. So we just need the distance from here to here. That's the height of the triangle, right? Now, to get this distance, it's easy. We're just going to do 50 minus 25, which is this distance, and that's going to give us 25, okay? So this is going to be in pound per foot because it's a distributed load. Now, let's check out the units. So note, guys, how the feet here cancels. We're going to be left with pounds, which is the unit of force. And if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator, you're going to get 125. Now let's find the force of the rectangle. So again, we're just going to do the area of the rectangle, which is just B times H. Now B is going to be the span of the beam, which is 10 feet. And then we're going to multiply it by the height of the rectangle, which is 25 pounds per foot. Now, if you guys plug in these numbers, you're going to get 250, and this is going to also have the units of pounds. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and make sure to come back here every week for free every problem, study tips, and motivation to help you pass faster. And if you want more problems on statics, go ahead and comment below statics. Now, let's set up our moment equation. So, I'm going to assume that counterclockwise is the positive direction for the moment, and I'm also going to assume that BY is going up. Now, if we get a positive answer, that means our assumption is correct. But if we get a negative answer, that just means our assumption was wrong and that BY should be going down. Okay. So first thing here, let's add the reaction. So we're going to do 10 feet, which is the moment arm for the BY. And then we're just going to multiply by BY. Now, note guys how this term here is going to be positive because BY is going up and our moment is counterclockwise, so they're going in the same direction. Now, let's add the force of the triangle. So here we're going to have minus, so it's minus because the moment is going this direction and then the force is going down, so they're going opposite of each other. So we're going to have minus and then we're going to have 125 pounds. This is the force. Now we have to multiply it by the moment arm, right? Because Remember, every term in this equation should have the units of force and then distance. So that's going to be pounds foot, okay? Now, the moment arm is going to be the centroid of the triangle. So it's the centroid because usually when we have a distributed load, we assume that the force is acting at the centroid of the shape, okay? Now, the centroid of the triangle is going to be this distance here, which is going to be the base over three so that's going to be 10 feet and then we're going to divide it by three so this here is going to be the moment arm then we're going to have minus 250 pounds so this is the force of the rectangle now it's minus because it's going opposite of the moment okay and then we're going to multiply it by the moment arm now the moment arm for this rectangle is going to be just B over 2, right? Because that's the centroid of the rectangle. So we're going to have 10 over 2, which is going to be 5 feet, okay? Then you're going to equal this equation to 0 and then solve for BY. So to solve for BY, you're just going to take all these terms to the other side and then you're going to divide it by 10 feet. And if you guys do that, you are going to get 167 pounds. 
Now, if we take a look at the multiple choice, the answer is going to be A. Now, if you guys want more problems to practice, make sure to take this free 15 minute quiz here. It has some of the most common FE problems. And once you complete the quiz, then I walk you through a step-by-step -step solution, just like we did in this video. So check it out. And if you guys are looking for study material to help you pass faster and earn more, don't forget to check out our courses where we cover everything that you need to pass your FE exam faster. And before you go, make sure to check out this 90 free FE problems playlist that will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.